Hello, Peter Detmer, Madison College, Instructor for Automated Manufacturing. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a produce tag and a consume tag using two different controllers on the same network. So what we have here is the RSLogix 5000 software running a program called Producer on a 1756-L61 processor. I already configured my produce tag. The producer side is very simple. It's your backplane with all the input output modules, processor, analog cards, and network card. You do have to have some type of network connection between the processors. In our case, we're using the 1756 ENBT, which is an Ethernet IP card. My program is a simple push button, incrementing a counter. Down here, I have a move instruction that takes the accumulated value of the counter one, which is 38, and moves it into my produce tag. I can right click on my produce tag and show you the properties. When you set up your new tag, you give it a tag name. You select produce from the pull down menu. Under connection, the consumer I have set for one because I'm only letting one other processor consume this information. The status is uh, no further information shown. For data type, you uh, are limited to certain data types on the producer tag. Uh, DINT is the most common. Uh, you can also use uh, real and float values. If you need to exchange Boolean data, you actually have to set up a UDT and uh, include that Boolean in that UDT. So this is the producer site. You see I'm online and uh, the tag is here. When I toggle the bit, you can see the accumulated value increments. The move instruction moves it into my produce tag. Now I'm going to switch to the consumed processor. So notice up here, RSLogix 5000 Consumer, that's the name that I gave this program, same processor, but the I.O. tree looks very different. The way you establish a connection is by going to the network card on this Consumer PLC. You go to the network, and in my case it's an Ethernet connection. Then you right-click and add a new module. Now I'm currently online and I've already set up my connection, but the basic step is to right click on Ethernet, add a new module, select the type of network module on the other PLC, the, con the producing PLC. When you do that, I'm going to demonstrate this here but not complete the setup. Chain choose a revision, give it a name, a description, make sure you correctly identify what slot the network card is in on the producing PLC, the correct chassis size, correct revision, and the IP address of the producing PLC, not your local, your current PLC you're working in. Here you need to enter the IP address of the PLC you want to connect to and get the data from. So I'm going to cancel this setup. Once you do that, you end up with this network card on the produced PLC. It will also add the backplane automatically. That was part of the setup that you find the information on. Once you see the backplane, you can right click on it, select new module, then you specify the controller that's on the remote PLC, the producing PLC. I have a 1756-L61. You can, you can see I already completed the setup for it. I'm just going to demonstrate what I did. Click OK. Choose the major revision. Give it a name. And this name does not have to match what the other processor is called. This is something that you can define that makes, se makes sense for you on this particular project. Make sure you define what slot the processor is in on the remote system. And then simply click OK. 
I'm going to cancel this since I already have this set up. So now I have my physical connection to Ethernet to the producing PLC. I'm going to go offline and you can see I already have a consume tag set up. I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a new consume tag by right clicking on the existing one, click the edit consume tag. Here you give it a name that makes sense for you, description if needed. From type you choose the consume type, make sure you use the same data type which is a double integer. On the connection button you click it. From the pull down you will only have the processes available that you defined in your I.O. tree to the network, which in my case I call the producer PLC. The remote data, you have to type in the exact name of the producing tag on the remote PLC. On status, since I'm not online, there is no information available. Um, RPI is the automatic update that this information is updated if you have an unconditional rung where this information is read into. Uh, since I already have the tag, I'm going to click OK, click OK again, and I'm using the tag here. It's just an uh, equal instruction um, using this and compare to a set uh, fixed value. I'm going to go back online. I didn't make any changes, so I don't need to download. And you can see the consume tag here has a value of 39. I'm going to move this window down so you can see the other program in the background. So here's my producing PLC. Accumulate value is 39. This is an unconditional instruction. As soon as I update this counter value, you will see a change here. If in order for you to see that, I'm going to change the window size. So up here is my button. I'm going to use a force to override this temporarily. Toggle the bit and watch here. This agreement value changes. It's going to change an update in my remote consuming PLC. There it is. Thank you for your time and uh, hope to see you again.